chance to go for another sweep. Um, obviously, you guys led, added on runs late too. I mean, is this kind of just a good feeling you guys are at right now? Yeah, really good feeling. Offense, we're in a good spot right now. Uh, you know, like we talked about before, it's just really selling out to approach and focus on uh, competing. That's been a big thing. And, you know, you see guys like Cam Clonch who uh, didn't play today but comes off the bench and hits a double, gets us going. I mean, that was awesome. But, yeah, now we just need to continue what we're doing what we're doing. Don't need to try to do too much. Just keep it simple. You guys had a lot of energy today, uh, a lot of hits, a lot of runs. What was going well for you guys? Just about everything, you know. Cooch, were, Cooch was awesome. Started on the mound. Um, you know, he ran some trouble in the first, but those were unlucky hits. A ball right behind him, ball in the outfield. And that just shows what kind of pitcher he is, man. Like, he didn't let that affect him. No runs in the top of the first. That was huge. Um, just kind of set the tone for the day. It was awesome. And it was really fun to play behind him and all the guys that came in. So... I'm sure you're pretty much comfortable kind of batting anywhere, but like as a, a leadoff hitter, I mean, do you have like a different, you know, goal you want to do? Like, do you want to see pitchers or do you stuff like that, or do you just kind of stick to your game? Um, early in the game, uh, I usually like to see pitches. Like last night, I think I saw six pitches out of uh, Kaminska, which is what the plan was. We wanted to get him out by the fifth inning, and um, it's just, you know, I, I really do like. I don't think of it differently, but I do like to see more pitches and leadoff spot just because. You know, maybe for a guy like Hoover gets to see maybe a change up and a curveball and a slide, every he sees whatever the pitcher's got. So yeah, definitely just try to see some pitches, work some counts and just get the back bat to the next guy. What's it like playing with a guy like Jenkins Power who obviously I mean he's, he's having a great season but also plays with a crazy amount of energy. Yeah, too. it's it's uh it's really contagious. Like uh -huh. that's the one word I can describe Jacob Jenkins. It's awesome, man. He's a he's a joy to be around. Uh, I mean, he deserves every bit of success that he's having and you know, he doesn't do anything else. He's, the success so far hasn't really changed who he is. And uh, I just want him to keep doing what he's doing because he's really fun and really contagious. And seeing JC with that kind of energy, it kind of trickles off on you. Does uh, does it get you guys a little bit looser at the mm -hmm. plate, playing defense, stuff like that? Yeah, it, it sure does. Because we, I mean, after his home run, he does the tongue thing, whatever, <laughs> shakes his head. And that just, you know, that just really reminds us that it's just a game. That's what we've really been focusing on. It's not pressing too much and just really realizing this is just a game. And, there's a lot more to life than baseball, um, but yeah, it definitely loosens us up and lets us have some fun. Because baseball is a sport, right? Where like almost if you try harder, like it doesn't work. Right. right? Like, yeah, you yeah. Can't, like I mean, if you if you succeed 30 percent at the professional level, you're considered a Hall of Famer. So mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna fail a lot, and the more we can accept it, and the more that we can learn from it and have some fun with it, it's uh, that's really the key that we've been sticking to. So.